This is the ESOcast. Cutting edge science and life behind the scenes at ESO, the European Southern Observatory. You've seen our observatories, located in some of the most extreme environments on the planet. And you've learned about exciting discoveries made with ESO telescopes. But who is behind all this? It's time to meet some of the people who make all of this possible, and to see how they work hard at ESO and play hard in their spare time. For Andres Pino, work is all about controlling complex mechanics and electronics at the VLT. After work, the free time DJ and producer just changes to different hardware. Barbara Klein works in the constant buzz around the design of complex instrument parts for ESO telescopes. But after work, the buzz comes from a different source when she is caring for her beehives at home. The astronomer Oscar Gonzalez spends most of his time studying stars in the central bulge of our Milky Way. But in his leisure time, he turns into a star himself on the drums. Eric Emselem reaches for the stars as the head of ESO's Office for Science in Garching. But after hours, Eric descends to the bottom of Bavarian lakes and other dive sites around the world. He is an experienced scuba diver.
Patrizia Gajardo's working hours are spent hands-on as a telescope instrument operator at Paranal. Outside of ESO, she gets her hands on a canvas and paintbrushes. Mark Nieser specializes in instrument development and works to improve our view of the stars. But Mark does not only look at the sky, he also travels there in gliders and single-engine aircraft. You have met some of our colleagues, each experts in their field, hard at work and hard at play. Tied together by a common desire for knowledge and curiosity about the world around us.